hello guys so we, we are welcome to my channel today we are just preparing another video on how to make a mold design of extraction of cold core and cavity from a two plate mold of any kind of injection molded component so let's begin this so basically just want to tell you all about guys that today we are preparing a plastic product so just let's begin so just just, just to watch till this video till end for complete tutorial so let's begin this stream this uh, video so the first of all let's open ptc creo 3.0 oh, and uh, also i have just already opened it so let's begin so this is the basic work work window of our screen and another we are also here for uh, so let's be uh, start with new option and uh, go to manufacturing use default template remove it if you want to do in any other uh, units uh, as a default selected or you want to just go on your manual setup then just uncheck it so next step is just go to mold cavity and give a specific kind of name i am just giving the product of a soap case or something or any other product so i am just giving the telephone telephone cover so this is the telephone cover here and press ok so i am just using the units in inches I'm just using the ETA there are three options empty inches LBS and MNS MFG mold so I'm just using MMS MFG mold so you can just write down your model by who is modeling this who is just performing this okay so I'm just giving a default name description if you have any kind of description for this product or you maybe skip it I'm just giving a default settings, default names. That's not the specific description and model by. Okay. So now click on. Let's see, uncheck it and click on OK. So now we will. It will appear the Windows window. This is the modeling window, and as our we can see here the telephone cover name. So now just go on. let's just move it nearby now here is the first step just we can we have if we don't have any kind of more 3d model in our working directory so we can just sketch it here if we have then just just import it so go in let locate reference model just go or assemble reference model create reference model so we will just locate reference model if we have any kind of model in our directory just click here after that just where where is the location of your model and you have to go there i have my model so my model is in for your models practice and just i am taking the phone back cover and open here is the part reference part and work I'm having the reference part same model and name phone back or telephone cover I have just given the default name whatever the name is and just click OK I'm just giving the single preview single you can just take out your preview also okay so we have just changed the model here so we have taken the remote cover for the simple basic concept so let's go it is the preview and click ok now here is another give the command done written and this is our model so we have just know we have to know that from which direction the core will be movable 
so here from this from this place it is the north is the top or this is the just click the axis you can view or disable this from this portion our core is will be movable so let's give it direction pull direction select items references workpiece create workpiece give any kind of default link I'm not changing it create features okay so now we have to just create our required workpiece for our model so sketch take out the references from where we have to take reference plane write datum plane sketch go to sketch view where here we have to take the references axis one parallel and one perpendicular normal axis second step is just make out the workpiece I'm just taking rectangle you can take any kind of shape whatever you want I'm just taking rectangle but close workpiece click OK and just next step is extrude it extrude it in similar way symmetric remember your workpiece should be fully occupied under the part your workpiece should out of your part so I'm just giving it 350 and click OK now here you have to remember your workpiece has been created now just click on activate your workpiece has been activated now so just after that if you want any kind of shrinkage properties you can add here from here dimensioning and form scale so we are just skipping this part another part is that we have to just create the parting surface so now here we have to just hide this workpiece before doing that so I'm just here is the workpiece click on hide zoom in the part and just observe the edges observe the exact parting line of your body if you have knowledge of any kind of molded substances if you observe them carefully you can be seen the parting line so let's take any kind of uh, surfacing commands here that one is fill skid surface extend curve fill loose boundary blend I recommend to use the extend curve you have to just press control and just continue select 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 all the so by using skid surface we have just uh, make a parting surface parting the surface to our product from we have to separate it now the next step, step is that we have to just cover these holes this uh, throughout surfaces so just we are using the fill loops option here no we have just used shut off wall sorry just use it close all internal loops and select ok now we have just completed our parting surface now our product is ready to be separated ready to mold it click check right and just second step the next step is to regenerate and just make unhide to our parting product next mold volume click on mold volume subtype mold volume and volume split here we have to go on volume split first you fall at the mold volume
into two volumes we have to just separate it in one part here and second one here so click on done and just select the parting surfaces we have just created it will be highlight automatically if you move up and down cursor see here right now I'm just taking cursor on a, away from it and on it so it is just get highlighted click on that press control and also the another filling loops so our product is fully parting surface click ok and another ok so here we can see the shaded part is the core part it is the core part we have just got the impression you can give it name more volume one such as core part c o r e core core okay and another part is the cavity part we can just see here from here and outside this is the cavity part c a v i t y cavity click ok so here our cavity and cavity is done. now there is another more one more step remaining cavity insert now we are going to insert what are the cavity and core we have just created so these are the split ids small volumes we have to just create in, in the metal form finally select all ok after that we have just have to you can see your core and cavity just right click here and just go open here is the your product which will be visible to you just like that you can save it by pressing here file save it can be saved in your working directory click close you can also view from here the cavity part just click here open this is the your cavity part you can just see all the this all blue blue color shows the matching part where the core and core and cavity get meets this is the matting parting line parting surfaces from where the product is going to separate just click on save and just back we can also check our exploded view for our product how it can be grow we can just take this part to your more standard mold parts and add there you can see this in another next video we are going to make so just stay tuned we can just see our exploded view for our component edit positions for this we are going to edit positions just simply there are the cys control coordinate system will be appear we will take away the move just double click on the component what we have to move this is our core part this is our cavity part just move downward and this is our parting this is our part we can take it out outside this is our parting surface so the parting civil surface will be remaining as where it can be so this is the exploded view of our component our mold assembly this is the work this is the cavity this is the parting surface this is the part and this one is the core part so by this we can end our video here see you guys in the next video just stay tuned just like subscribe and comment on whatever video you do guys like so i can make the video on the next part for more videos just stay tuned so we can just click here and we can end our video here see you guys next time just like share share subscribe and comment what you want is this like if you like it just give a hit like goodbye